I've got five subjects to study for for my trials and all of my subject notes are like 40 pages long. I've got more than 200 pages of study notes. I've got to do past papers. I've got to revise everything because I've forgotten so much. I'm f***ed. Like, I, I don't know how I'm going to do this in time for my HSC trials. So failing to plan is planning to fail. With five subjects, if you don't have a plan on what you're gonna do and when you're gonna do it, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get right up to that exam and you're gonna be cramming like crazy and you're gonna feel overwhelmed. So having a plan is really key to acing your exams but also staying sane. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you a really simple but incredibly powerful three steps that you can take to put a plan together to help you nail your HSC trials and HSC exams. So step number one, write a goal mark down that you would like to achieve in your HSC trials or HSC exams for all of your subjects. Now this is really important because if you don't have a goal mark, how do you know how much work you actually need to do to prepare for your trials and HSC exams? So, write your goal mark down. But when you're setting your goal mark, don't just set it right on the ideal mark that you would like to achieve. Because the reality is that the exams are unpredictable. So instead, stretch yourself, challenge yourself a little bit. If your goal mark's 80%, stretch yourself and set the goal as 85%. If it's 90, set it as 95. If it's to just pass, set it at 60%. Add a little bit of stretch into your goals. So, pause the video now, Take out a piece of paper, and for each subject, I want you to write down your goal mark with some stretch for your HSC trials or HSC exams. So step number two, what I want you now to do for one of your subjects, thinking about that goal mark in your mind, is I want you to write a to-do list. I want you to write everything down that you believe you need to do for that subject to give you the best chance of scoring your goal mark in your HSC trials or your HSC exams. Now the point of this exercise is to get all the stuff that's currently in your head and probably making you feel a little overwhelmed, is to get it out of your head and put it on the paper to make it visible so that you can see what you've got to do and you can start planning for when you're going to do it. So, a fat to-do list for everything you need to do for your particular subject to achieve your goal mark. Now, not only should you just write it all in a single to-do list, that's the first step of part two here. The second component is that then thinking about how much time you have between now and your trials or your HSC exams, what you should then do is start to work out which items on that to-do list you need to do now, next week, the week after, the week before your exams. So you're starting to take that to-do list and identify some milestones of what you're going to complete by when. So, pause the video now and do this. Write your to-do list for your subjects and map out when are you gonna do it by. What are the milestones you're gonna set for yourself? So step number three, the final step. Once you've written your to-do list and you've put it in a milestones across time, I want you to print it out and stick it on a wall. Now we call this a wall chart. In fact, a student came up with that name. Really, really simple idea. But the point of sticking it up on your wall is out of sight, out of mind. If it stays as a file on your computer, it's not gonna inspire you to get stuff done. So remember, it's about visibility. Stick it up on a wall, and every time you complete something, put a big, fat cross through it. It's gonna give you a real-time progress bar on how you're actually going in preparing for your trials and HSC exams. It's gonna make you feel more motivated, and it's also gonna build that sense of urgency that you need to have about the work that you need to do. So, in conclusion, three simple steps. Number one, identify your goal marks for your subjects. Number two, write a to-do list for everything you need to do for that subject and map it out over time. And number three, print it out and stick it up on your wall. Finally, I'd love to see what your wall charts look like. I'm happy to keep you accountable. So, once you've done this activity, share a picture with us. Pop it in the comments below, send us an email. We'd love to see what your wall chart looks like. If you send it to us, we'll even give you feedback 
on what you've done and any suggestions we might have to help you improve your plan for your trials and HSC. Remember to subscribe guys, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notified, ask any questions you've got below and we'll see you next week.